Uh, it was a murder that sparked horror and outrage among the Sioux Falls community. Five men were involved in the killing of Mary Kay Ross in 1995. The two men who actually stabbed the 25-year-old mother with steak knives did it for money and drugs. One of those men is Eric Kuhn. His commutation hearing before the South Dakota Board of Pardons and Paroles late this afternoon drew in Ross's family members from around the country. Our Kelloland News investigation has been following these new developments. Angela Kennecke was there and brings you the emotional testimony. What's unusual about this case is that one of Mary Kay Ross's killers, Eric Poppin, got a hearing before the full parole board at all. Power, Poppin, and Smith all had hearings before a two-person board, but were denied going before the full board. Poppin tried five times to get clemency, but was denied. Mr. Kuhn comes before the board today requesting clemency on his 1996 Minnehaha County felony murder in the first degree. Eric Kuhn went to prison at the age of 19. Now 46, he says he's not the same person who viciously attacked the young mother. I took a, a, a mom away from her child. I took a child away from her mom and her family. And there's nothing I can do to bring her back. I truly today I apologize to the family. I wish I could turn around and face you. Parole board rules wouldn't allow that nor will it allow us to show victims without their permission. But you can hear the emotional testimony of Mary Kay Ross's daughter, who is now 29. He deserves to stay here for the rest of his life. My entire life was changed, and she didn't even get to know why. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't deserve it. She did not deserve that. Minnehaha County State's Attorney Daniel Hager spoke against a reduction in sentence for Kuhn, citing his 90 violations in prison from theft to assault to escape. Now this family has gone through a lot, and this hearing has reopened a lot of those wounds. They didn't want to be here. So when Eric talks about how this is you know, a chance for him to apologize, that's for him. They weren't seeking that. Several people spoke out in Kuhn's favor. Zachary Shaker is out on parole after serving 15 years for burglaries. He's always been that father figure and older brother figure. I do believe if he gets out, he's going to do great. This is my second chance, and I'm doing great. And I owe it all to him for his guidance and for the love and everything that he showed me in here. Mary Kay's sister showed her photo while she spoke against the commutation. Some claim that his accomplishments show he is a changed man, but what might Mary Kay's accomplishments over the last 27 years have been? Mary Kay was the fabric that held our family together. Mary Kay's brother, Shand Ross, agreed to an on-camera interview. Did his apology mean anything to you? Not really. Not really. He said he felt a, a sense of power. Um, throwing her around like a rag doll. So his, his apology, that's, that's minuscule to me. It doesn't mean a thing to me. Shan says Kuhn got his second chance by avoiding the death penalty. Board member Lieberman? Aye. In the end, the board unanimously voted against recommending a reduced sentence for Kuhn to the governor. In South Dakota, a life sentence means no chance of parole. However, Kuhn and the other killers can apply for clemency hearings once a year. In Sioux Falls, Angela Kennecke, Kettleland News.